Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September and see what's going to be happening for you today, darling. All right. So be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Aquarius, to get the full understanding of what's going to happen in your life. And let's get started with your tarot reading today. We'll start out with the back of the deck this time with the Two of Cups for you, Aquarius. All right. And I'm also going to leave a link over here in the top right corner for you to check out my monthly pick a card reading for September. So Two of Cups coming in for you. Aquarius, all right? Partnerships coming in, all right? While I don't like to make make my readings about love, you know, I'm not going to attach uh, emotions to it now, all right? If you are single looking for love, I do feel like, I feel like this is already in the active talking stage, all right? So if you're not talking to anybody, then I don't feel like that's relevant for you. I feel like it would then be in the, like what I feel like is more so future referenced to this Two of Cups would be yes confirming it here is the moon energy when it's approaching you uh aquarius from a non-relational relationship uh standard it's someone approaching you with some type of idea with some type of partnership with some type of working together does that does that make sense aquarius i want to really express this here where it's like if you are already in the dark talking phase with somebody getting some feelers out that's when i feel like it's relevant when it comes to romance and stuff otherwise it's going to be some new energy coming in here approaching you but it's under that moon guise right so you don't know them quite yet then approaching you with the business idea right this is the two of wands aquarius this represents contracts this represents like whatever it is that this person comes forward to you with right you look closely at the card aquarius if you tab it back over <laughs> if you're tabbed anyways with this two of wands you'll see this individual holding a globe right and they're looking well i guess they're looking at us right now but it's generally depicted where it's like they're making their plans for the world where it's like whatever it is it's like that sense of being like okay wow this is really different really foreign to you here but it's like whatever the offer is it really changes how you approach your future all right so it seems to be pretty big plans here because the two of wands is by definition representative representative my goodness aquarius of contracts right i'm just taking from the back of the deck by the way at this point forward it just feels correct and i'm noticing here this is your energy aquarius which also Shout out to my Aquarians over here because this is a star earring, which I know y'all can't really tell from back there. But um, star energy with the two of cups. Now, this is interesting to me, Aquarius. All right. When I see star energy in social readings, I kind of see this as like someone that was meant to be part of your life path. I don't necessarily personally align with the Akashic records or anything like that, but I do believe that there are certain people, certain things that are meant to happen in this lifetime that you can't avoid or at all. Like there are certain pivotal waypoints, we'll call it. And I feel like that's what it is for you, Aquarius. Again, going back to that social dynamic of if it's romantic or some you're in the talking phase with somebody. I feel like this person is meant to be in on the other side of things some type of offer coming in that you can that are is very foreign to you because of that moon energy Aquarius all right have an understanding that there is a reason as to why this connection was brought forward this offer is going to be coming forward to you that greatly alters things but it seems to also feed what it is that your hope your ultimate desires are right the star energy is like i always like to say is like when you wish upon that star when you think about the thing that you so badly want but you have to do like the emotional work that's why you see the the uh the water the liquid in the star energy there's like managing emotions and healing emotions to help get to that destination all right and so i also see with the cups as well as like the sense of healing through whatever opportunity comes forward right because you'll notice with this moon energy there's also water influence here as well in fact all four of these cards that we have going on here have some type of water influence and while yes you are aquarius and your first portion of your name is aqua meaning water darling right i'm not gonna say that <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, oh, if you have water in your chart, I mean, go check it out. Go check out my water sign reading. <laughs> but I will say, Aquarius, I feel like it's more so aligned in this way of like emotional, like something emotional is seemingly being the focus. Emotional healing, or just I'm, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe you're unpacking because I'm being shown a suitcase unpacking emotional traumas or something 
continuing on from the back of the deck, we have, again, more water, darling. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups shares the message, same message by definition that the star does in the sense of you look both of them up and they, in some variation, talk about wishes being granted for you, right? And so then you pair up the Nine of Cups with this Two of Wands here, all right? So this leads me to believe it's like what's coming for you is like a stepping stone opportunity. And that's why that person is meant to be part of your life here. All right. And while I don't, while I say stepping stone, Aquarius, I don't want that to come, girl move. I don't want it to come off as Aquarius where it's like that stepping stone's fleeting after you step over it. Right. I don't, let's not add, <laughs> let's not add that like unnecessary meaning to it. But I do feel as if for you, Aquarius, September is going to be a month of where the ball is really going to get going maybe nothing too flashy happens all right yeah nothing too girl the sun card hello right under your moon energy nothing flashy i feel like necessarily happens in september for you aquarius but what does happen is like the stepping stones start presenting themselves to you you'll start noticing i almost feel like for you aquarius like you're you're feeling really guided in a very specific way all right and it's like you're following the guy like whatever is guiding you currently and it doesn't really make sense to you right now right for you and some of you gemini's you might be like at a point in your life where you're just like you know what i don't really know what i'm doing i'm kind of just feeling things out but at some point in time it might make sense right well that might i can guarantee it will make sense right because the sun card is the card coming forth with clarity right and because the reason why i little had a little bit of a a moment here i'm like oh my god the moon card <laughs> with it is because right you the moon and the sun are the opposites right and so because this is right under the moon this represents of like clarity coming in a spotlight being sh uh, shined on a situation that you really were not sure like what to make of it that's what i mean by that is like you're not really sure what to make of a certain situation but you're feeling it out and by you feeling a situation out you see the progression nine of cups energy and i mean just this row in of itself aquarius if we're going to just take it by horizontal here which we do of course darling right this is an insane setup here right the sun and the star card the best arguably the best two cards to have in the tarot deck with the nine of cups here september is a month of just well let's see what kind of blessings we're talking about here let's start unpacking it more because yeah well yes we have like those contracts and those this offer that i see for you socially i don't feel like it's necessarily directly linked with this does that make sense empress energy uh -uh. and then it, wow ace of cups and then the nine of swords aquarius for you if i'll put it this way I feel like for you, I'll use the analogy of like trust issues, right? Maybe you have some issues with trust or maybe you always, no, let's not even make it about that quite yet. I feel like this is like, it's really hard for you to conceptualize this idea, Aquarius, of where you take up a lot more space than uh, you currently do. So let me unpack this, right? I'm not, and I don't mean that you're going to be a famous pop star, but it's like, you know how there's like, we've, um, at least I've seen so many people that dream to be like pop stars. Like everyone's always trying to be like the next Michael Jackson or Britney Spears girl, like whatever. Right. And so it's like that type of person and they never give up on it, even though they never get results. Right. In this type of way here for you, Aquarius, it's like you need to start getting comfortable with this idea of taking up much more space than what you currently do. All right. Get comfortable with this idea of like owning your energy as the Empress. You might be getting more in, uh, intertwining with your divine femininity, right? Because that's what the Empress really in, uh, exudes is divine femininity right genders obviously don't matter we both have divine masculine and feminine in us but um i do get this sense of like getting comfortable with your femininity getting comfortable with people coming to you i don't know why i get like this motherly energy here but i don't mean like you're being a mother to end people but I, you think about like a matronly individual and it's like people know they can go to them like that you go to the matron and it's just like they they always have an answer to everything they're able to i don't know there's like this energy where i feel like you are exuding like this energy where people are extremely attracted to you and i feel like on some level there's anxiety associated with that 
I could just go the easy route and say imposter syndrome, but let's unpack it a little bit more. This reading, I apologize, uh, Aquarius, but I'm my regulars know I always have like my most interesting uh, eccentric readings with y'all. Hierophant, Queen of Wands, and Death Card. But as I was saying, like y'all's reading is like all over the place, but it's like trying to like bring in a bunch of strands into like one piece. I don't know. It's like y'all always are like my most eccentric energy, but it's always fun. All right. So this Nine of Swords here, you have the Hierophant, Queen of Wands, Death Card coming in here. So maybe it's like this idea, Aquarius, where it's like you have anxiety when it comes to making official commitments to things maybe you're afraid of like if you were to commit to something then it would just fall flat on your face and then you would regret it right or maybe it's this idea of like going forward with things that feel really good to you ace of cups it feels really good to you and like there's like this anxiety i feel that's associated with like what happens with the next step it's like it feels it's like you're presented with this really good news and it's like you're happy for a moment and then it's like your brain starts thinking about all these scenarios all these reasonings that like i feel like if you were to vocally express it to people they wouldn't either make sense to them or whatever the case is right but i feel like it's like you can't really explain it to others and maybe that's me projecting honey because i can't explain it and so it's like for you aquarius in the coming days your lesson is going to be learning how to be that queen of wands where she is the only card in the wands court that is not protected by the salamander the salamander symbolizes the immunity from fire from being burned right so it's this, this sense of where it's like understanding uh aquarius that this next chapter that you're meant to really have here right whatever this contracts or whatever talks about here like because i feel like the like you have one foot in and one foot out Aquarius where it's like you have one foot in where you start seeing progress and just like your life shaping up to be this where you are this empress energy where you take up space where people look up to you where people you are of of in some type of authority right also you know I can go into a whole rant about what the Empress really exudes right getting comfortable being the Empress and believing that you are the Empress all right you don't lose you don't lose yourself in that you're not going to fail it's like you're avoiding accepting some type of offer so you don't have to deal with like the disappointments after some of you are really like handling a relationship in a sketchy way and when i say sketchy not in a sense that you're doing anything sus aquarius but i feel like i feel like you could be more open or i feel like you're handling a certain situation and it's like you're you, that's what it is aquarius it's like especially if this is social for you it's like you're handling a social situation and you're walking over eggshells that don't exist does it make sense you're walking over eggshells that don't exist in this current situation because a previous situation had eggshells and then some so it's like you have to get comfortable with this idea aquarius where it's like not all these eggshells exist for every person you interact with you have to understand that just like you hear the phrase don't put all your ducks in one basket or all your eggs in one basket right and in a lot of the cases that's true but th there is this calling where it's just like it's okay to put your eggs in one basket because it's going to pay off right there's that balance of where it's like you're being responsible you're being an adult ultimately right but there is also that balance there where it's like being leaning too heavy into that adulthood where it's like you accept that it's like people are gonna fuck you over honey right <laughs> you know having that guarded energy that you learn as just being an adult but also understanding that you can't keep that by leaning too deep into it you become too cynical and then creates blockages and makes things complicated for your future whether that cynicism is reflecting into the people you interact with or that cynicism starts uh with you all right so i'll use an example aquarius right um i deal with it all the time and i also i'm guilty of it as well when i first did not really understand tarot on youtube was that i uh i deal with people all the time where it's just like they have like this projection on like what they think tarot readers are and tarot readings and all that right and 
once they consume like a couple of readings like then they have a better understanding of it but because they have like those previous bad experiences where they go on youtube and they someone pulls out a three of swords and like oh yeah you're gonna fall in love like there's like sense of cynicism that is developed aquarius that i feel like is impeding you in your future days that are impeding you from walking forward and grabbing at new opportunities i did not look at these cards until right now aquarius and i'm just now realizing that we pulled the four of pentacles for you which is the card of investments which is like the perfect analogy for putting your eggs in one basket right page of pentacles and three of wands you the three of wands as a sense is like you see the signs you just need to take action into it page of pentacles is you taking action girl page of <laughs> page of pentacles aquarius is you you taking action onto it making that investment for that four of pentacles right crazy i'm finally starting like all the energy is starting to finally like braid together aquarius i love it but it's i just i don't know there's like this weird message i'm trying to find a balance to where it's like i can understand the cynicism i can understand trying to avoid certain pains or certain disappointments but it's like too much skepticism i feel to you being too too guarded too reserved whether that's towards people or especially towards yourself get cup like you know as i was saying beforehand like some people they like they think about like those who like are content creators or tarot readers and they're just like oh like all these tarot readers they just want money they just want to tell people they everyone's gonna come back to them fall in love with an ex da, 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 da. then they can see a couple of my readings and they're just like wait not all tarot readers are like that you know what i think i want to do something similar right i deal with it all the time where people are just like super judgmental and being like oh you're a content creator you do tiktoks and da da da, da because they have this certain impression of what they think tiktok is or social media is because of what they initially consumed and so then it's like not i'm not tooting my own horn but it's just like because i just know from that sense where it's like people experience my content or even me with tiktok especially or as judgmental tiktok once i got into it i was like wait a minute you know this is actually there's something here especially with tiktok tiktok has completely changed my life <laughs> honestly so it's like that's how i feel like it is for you whatever way that you could fit that analogy in or maybe it doesn't resonate with anybody honey but i felt like i needed to get that message out there anyways i love you so much aquarius and thank you for taking the time to listen uh bye darling